I begin, I'd like you guys to hit the um, like button. More people hit the like button, more likely this video is to get out there. So yes, hit that like button. And if you ever be so kind, please just do subscribe. So, I'll make this very short, very quick and painful or painless. Um, so the other day I was sitting here watching Halloween 4. Not the best out of all of them. But it's not the it's not the worst, it's not the best. And I'm sitting there as I'm eating my popcorn. I'm wondering what is the greatest horror film ever? So I did a little research and I found myself on an article by Thrillist.com naming 75 greatest horror films. And I um, kind of disagree with it, but I guess it's whatever. It's somebody else's opinion. It ain't mine. But rounding out the top five was Jaws. No, excuse me. It wasn't Jaws. Rounding out the top five was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I've seen it. It was alright to me, but I, I don't know about number one. But number two was Exorcist, Psycho, Halloween, and then Night of the Living Dead. But what disappointed me on there, that wasn't on there, what was the thing? It was at number six. And there was a couple other movies I can't think of that was on that list. I was surprised I was on the list, like Godzilla, the first Godzilla, and seven. And, um, but anyways, it's kind of hard to make this list because picking horror is kind of subjective if you think about it because people are scared of different things. I, for one, was scared of sharks so i was scared of jaws they didn't want to go in the water for some time but i don't think it's the greatest horror film ever it's one thing i haven't don't even consider it a horror film but i guess it is a horror film animal type horror film but i had to pick between five different movies that people usually name as the scariest movie they ever seen and even these five would be even be not torn apart but some people might disagree. And the five by name is Jaws, Psycho, The Exorcist, um, The Thing, and Halloween. Those are the five I just picked. It's actually a random five I just picked. And I looked on, I did some more research, looked on the article on uh, psychology, psychology, psychology today. I didn't get that messed up. And uh, they had a, a list of 10 things that qualify to making a scary movie scary. And uh, one was fear of death, fear of the unusual, dismemberment, disfigurement, scary places, the dark, um, thunder and lightning, which was weird. I don't know why, because you don't really need thunder and lightning. Uh, what was the other one? Um, I'm asking you guys. I should know this. Um, she, why is it leaving my mind right now? I said this thing. Suspense. Suspense. How can I forget? And song. And I think half of those movies, five of those movies probably cover it. Jaws is not really in the dark. There's really no dark scenes in Jaws. Why well, don't disqualify it because it doesn't have it? That would make it scarier. But. It's just, it's just, there's a thing about these other movies that are on this list. And then I had to discredit, not discredit, disqualify three more just to narrow it down. So now I'm down to Halloween and The Thing. And Halloween has its scares. It has its suspense. It's simplistic. It's just a crazy nut running around in a jump blue jump shoot with a mask on and a knife. Going after people in um, a neighborhood in Illinois. It's fun. But there's something about the thing that scares me. And it covers basically all of those 10 things that was on that article. <clears throat> Losing my voice. That was on that article. It covers the suspense. The suspense about the thing really gets me. Because if anybody who's out there who's seen 
the thing. Suspense is what makes that movie good. Dark Places, which makes that movie good because it takes place at night in the cold and on, on and on in Antarctica. And basically it covers the fear of the unusual and the unknown and the fear of death because the thing, the alien, we don't know what it is. It's a parasitic thing that likes to blend itself with humans. Basically kind of like a shape-shifting, but it's kind of disgusting. That was the other one. Scary and creepy things. That was the other one on this article. Sorry. And it covers all those check boxes. And the ending is very... I don't want to spoil the ending for anyone any people who haven't seen it yet, but the ending is very, you don't know who's who's who. You don't know what's what. You don't know what's going on still. You don't know if, okay, spoiler alert, that Kurt Russell's character is the thing or Keith David's character is the thing. We don't know. That's what makes it scary. And just outside of the movie, you think that if one of those people escaped, it means probably the end for the world because uh, they couldn't stop this thing. What makes anybody else going to stop this thing out there in the world? If you know, even if it gets, well, it can easily get off Antarctica. It, uh, masquerades as a human. So that's what makes it scary. And so I just have to say, in my humble opinion, anybody else out there can disagree. They can say something else, a different horror movie is, that I think the thing is probably the most scariest. It's not my favorite horror film. Don't get me wrong, it's not my favorite. Uh, I've seen it plenty of times, and every time I watch it, I get the heebie-jeebies, start scratching all over everywhere. Special effects is just so great for that time. But I just get the heebie-jeebies, sometimes I don't like watching it. And um, Halloween is my favorite horror film. It's all about the slasher films there. It's just simplistic about it. So even those, those can really happen in real life. The alien can happen in real life. Or can it? So, um, that's a video for that today it's a quick little halloween video uh, tell me what you guys think or what you guys think is the greatest horror film of all time like i said i think it's a thing i don't think it's a thing i feel like it's a thing anybody else can say anything different so it's, it's a su subjective opinion of course such opinions are subjective but it's a subjective topic i should say and um um, yeah, before you leave, once again, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications because YouTube does not like to alert people because even when I subscribe to other people, it does not alert other people about their videos. So, um, yeah, like I said, that's the video and, um, uh, I will see you guys later with another video later on.